Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for checking me out if you're new. I'm Natasha and this is my makeup party. I'm bringing to you today a Beauty Blender Foundation. So it's a foundation that is exclusively made for use with a Beauty Blender or a pointed type sponge like a Beauty Blender. To me, Beauty Blenders are really expensive. I like to use my Miss A ones that I get for a dollar. I'm way too cheap for that. So this is the new Beauty Blender Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. It has taken me four shades to get the right shade. I've always been ordering this online. I just ordered it. I ordered a couple shades at a time. I think I finally have my perfect shade. I really like the finish on this foundation. So I'm gonna show you how this sponged on in just a little bit. I told you guys I was in love with the Too Faced 2D Fruity collection and I was gonna get more of it and I have more of that to show you today. But first, the very, very unique packaging. So here is the bottle of foundation. It comes in this really unique package here for dispensing onto this little plate where you put your beauty blender and pick it up and then apply it to your face. It does have a switch in the back. It's kind of like an on-off switch. This is the off for when you're traveling or it's in your drawer and then you switch it on in order to be able to pump it. This is supposed to be a long wear foundation. I'm gonna come back in a few hours and show you how the wear went. But to me, these first several shades are very neutral friendly. So I started out with a 1.0. I went to 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4. 1.0 is the widest, widest, widest shade. If you are wider, wider, wider than me, then 1.0 would be for you. I ordered next 1.3 and 1.4. 1.3 I tried on first, and I thought it was okay. It was a little tiny bit yellow, a little tiny bit deep. For me, I knew the 1.4 was not going to work, so I went back and I got the 1.2. That has worked. I think this is a perfect color match here. So let me put 1.2 on the back of my hand here. That's what it looks like there. Let me smear it down so you can actually see it. That's just a tiny little blob. You can see how it's very neutral. So it, it just really has a lot of neutrality to it. I don't feel like it's real pink or peach or yellow, I feel like it's got quite a bit of neutral tone to it, which is just what I need. It's very creamy feeling. It feels really nice when you're putting it on. It is a liquid foundation, but it's not super runny. So I do like the feeling and the texture as you're putting it on. It has a dewy feel and a dewy finish. So here is how it dispenses out. You push down at the top. If you just push a little bit, you tend to get the product down, stuck down in this little hole here, and you can't get that out, so it's kind of messy. But here's a dispense, here's one pump, and then you just pick it up with your blend, beauty blender and go. I don't know, there's something about, I like having this little pan to dispense it out onto. I like this formula, I like this system. I just like this foundation. It's really comfortable to wear. It feels really hydrating, feels comfortable. It doesn't feel dry or stiff or matte doesn't feel heavy. Let me come back in a few hours and I'll show you how it wore. And here is how I put it on today. Okay, I've primed my face with Too Faced Hangover Primer and we're going to start with this Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. So it does dispense out onto the front of its little panel here. I'm using not a beauty blender, but a sponge that's the same kind of consistency and size that will fit right in there. This is one of my Miss A sponges that I'm in love with. And so I'm just going to press down. We're gonna dispense out. I think I'll do two pumps. I'm probably gonna need more. I'm just gonna swipe it up with my sponge and start dabbing in my problem areas first. And it's not too pink at all. It is a very neutral tone. I've noticed with this foundation that it's really good with neutrals. Good. So I'm gonna do another pump because that didn't go very far at all. And I am not a real heavy foundation applier. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure I'm getting my melasma covered and my dark nose. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more on my chin because my chin I feel is looking very pink or red right now. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is really full coverage. To me it's not. It's um, medium. I'm just gonna take some of the weight off with the clean side of my sponge 
in the areas where I tend to put too much. Okay, here it is powdered. I used the Hourglass Veil finishing powder or setting powder. I'm still getting a nice dewy finish on it. It's not super, super heavy coverage looking. It's very light and natural. Okay, so that is your Beauty Blender foundation specifically made for your Beauty Blender. I really like it. I just like the finish on it. I think it's pretty. I think it's natural looking, but it is covering my stuff. And we'll see how long it wears. To me, it has been a pretty long wearing feeling foundation. Not super long wearing, but it's been as long wearing as any of my foundations are. So I'll check back in with you on that. Let's look at the tutti fruity stuff that I picked up. I have gone crazy about this collection. I want more and more and more. One of these products, or actually two of these products, I'm going to try on live for you guys and we'll see how they actually work. But first, I want to show you this blush duo. I do have this on today. I only have the blush on from this. I don't like the highlighter in this. It's just, it's too, too dark for me. This is the Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo Apricot in the Act. It does smell like apricots. Yes, it does. It smells like apricots. It reminds me a lot of their peach, um, their peach palettes. It smells a lot like that, but a little bit fruitier, more apricotty. Pretty colors here. A pretty natural. I think this is the prettiest color on. I have it on today. Here's how it went on. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I absolutely think it is just the prettiest color on the skin. It does have a little sheen. It's just a happy, darker peach, a happy browner peach tone. It's just very happy looking on my cheek, I think. I really like this color. A tiny bit of peach to it. It's just a really pretty color. And then here is the highlighter. The highlighter you can see in the pan has glitter in it. It has actual glitter. I don't know if I'm into that, but it is just too deep for me. It's just too deep of a highlighter for me. So I couldn't do that today. I did use a different highlighter today. I used a Wet n Wild highlighter, but this is the um, highlighter in it. You can see the flaky glitter. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's flaky glitter in there. Something else I picked up from them is another one of these wonderful lip glosses. This is the Comfort Lip, lip Glaze Grin and Bear It. That is the lacquer. It smells so good. Okay, these other two things I'm going to try on live for you guys. I don't know how they're going to perform. So this is the pink lemonade shade of the highlighter stick. And it's very bright. It's a very bright yellow. I think it's going to be I don't know. It feels a little chunky. So when I put this on the back of my hand, it feels a little chunky. It smells like lemon. Yeah, that makes sense. It's lemonade. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> it's a fresh lemon scent. Let me show you on the back of my hand. This is a chunky, greasy kind of feeling glitter highlighter. I don't know if this is going to work out. I'm shearing it out and it's getting greasier. So I this is the liquid glitter eyeshadow from Too Faced. This is called Guava Glitz. I thought this one was really different. I thought it was just an opalescent sort of silvery gloss. These are not really like the Stila Glitter and Glow or any of those, the Milani ones, because they seem to have less glitter. They seem to be mostly that clear backing and just a little glitter thrown in. Try this on, on top of what I have today. I'm wearing a palette from Milani. It is called Most Loved Mattes, and I love that palette. I thought I would wear a matte eye today because I thought putting this on top of a shimmer shadow was not gonna really work very well. So I'm gonna put this on, on top of here, and we're gonna see what it does. This one doesn't have a fruit smell. No, it has sort of a chemical-y smell. Okay, so this is very water, like water-based, and then it's got the glitter thrown in. A lot of the other glitter topper eye stuff like this has sort of a background, and then it has the glitter. This doesn't really have a background. It's just clear with glitter. So, okay, it's pretty on the applicator. It's got a lot of a purple sort of opalescent look to the uh, or holographic sort of look to the glitter just dotting it on this is probably not the best color to have put this on top of but i just wanted to get a feel for it okay that's kind of pretty it's not really picking up my shadow underneath it's not lifting that okay that's kind of pretty i can live with that let's do the other eye and just dotting this Okay, that's kind of pretty. It kind of lets the um, color underneath show through. Okay, back in a few hours. 
Okay, it's now been like about four hours and it's holding up pretty well. Um, I've got a little bit of loss right through here. It's getting in my lines right here and then it's breaking up over my nose. That is actually, um, it actually looks better than most foundations at this, you know, at this stage of wear really on me. Um, I don't keep foundations on very well. I don't know why I'm dry, I'm not oily. So I thought we would go ahead and try on that highlighter stick from Too Faced because I don't have anything to lose at this point. I can put it on and if it wipes away my foundation, that's okay because uh, I mean, I'm done for the day anyway. But I think this foundation's holding up pretty well for me. I'm just gonna, I'm not pushing very hard. Okay, that's not bad. I thought it was gonna be greasy, but it's kind of, when you don't push real hard, it's kind of dry. I know that doesn't make any sense, but look at that. That is actually pretty. And I thought it was gonna be real glittery, it's not. Turn down the lighting so you can really see it. I think that's nice. Let's put it on over here. I'm just barely sort of doing that. It's kind of dry. Um, it's not moving my foundation, really. It's like a powder. It's like a glittery powder in a stick. Yeah, um, as far as this glitter um, lid topper, that has held up really well. I don't think it's really moved. I don't think it's really, and it has not fallen down onto here. There's no glitter at all down there. So that's how everything held up. Thanks for watching, guys.